53 and uh, didn't sleep real well last night. Cowboy camp because it got in so late and wanted to cook that meat up with a head over the fire, which was awesome, totally awesome. But uh, got some water, figured it was going to be a long hike out and hiked a mile, less than a mile to the road. And there was a group of people with a van there at the trailhead and uh, they were getting ready to do a slack pack. So I'm slack packing with them because they're all going to the same wood, woods hole hostel. So 21 mile day, slack packing, and uh, that's coming out pretty nice. So we have a couple things to look forward to today. One, this river that's like a half mile away. I might jump in. And two, there's a waterfall called Dismal Falls, 0.3 off. And so another thing to look forward to is maybe I'll go in town, get some other food, and get properly Spend a little more time on my food right now. I got kind of mixed up. I don't have the right combination of breakfast, lunch, dinners. I got a lot of snacks, but not so much uh, dinners and no coffee. Yuck. No coffee. This is not good. Okay. So we're going to get some coffee, get properly stocked up with that cream and sugar and all that good stuff. That's the plan. So right now we're on the trail. The views haven't been anything spectacular. We just got into this field, getting low on the valley. Trail's been pretty decent today. Um, just finally got broke away from everybody. There was a bunch of people in front of me, ahead of me, so couldn't bring out the camera, but got about five miles in. And uh, that's the start of the day. Thursday, day number 53. Well, here's a pretty cool bridge. Going across this lake here, or this uh, river here. So. I see it drains a lot of a lot of farms over there, so it's probably not good to drink. So, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do about that. But let's check this out. Suspension bridge at that, huh? Kind of cool. Whoa, it's got some real huge waves to it. Oh, hi! I gotta put the camera away. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> but look at that spider web. That show up on there. Cool. All right. It's just really bouncy. I like it though. There's one lazy river there. Lazy river. All right, here's my first creation. We got pepperoni, cheddar cheese, and tuna salad on a wrap. at the waterfalls and it was really cool and you could just crush the miles so your body got warmed up and started to overheat but uh, we've been walking through the woods like this right here it looks pretty just really really good trail and uh, we've just been crossing these little creeks like you got right here um, not necessarily always this big but it's really probably the same water but uh, it's been a couple miles and uh, it's really comfortable I'm like two miles out this thing, whole thing is tilted it's kind of funny <laughs> feels funny when you're looking in here and the whole walls whole floor is angled like this <laughs> um back in the rhododendrons birds are chirping you can hear the water flowing over here and uh not too hot yet but uh when the sun gets out you can feel it get hot but then the cloud comes over and gives you relief so it's been pretty good and uh, we're excited to get to this hostel called Woods Hole. And apparently they do a communal communal dinner at seven o'clock. Hope we get in there by around 5.30. Maybe 5.30, six at the latest. Get my clothes washed. I already jumped in and washed my shirt too, but socks, my other set of clothes. Start switching them back and forth. Seems to work out pretty easy that way. Anyway, that's the plan for the day. A little 21 mile day. And that puts uh, four days in a row over 20. 
we're really starting to add up the miles. Of course, slack packing helps too. There's a little baby fawn right down here, hiding like his mother is over there. See the eyeball? Right down there. That's the baby fawn. Stand absolutely still. Hiding right here in the stream. Is that not magical? Here's the stream. So easy to miss. That little baby fawn right here as you cross the bridge. Not very often you get to see something like that. That's incredible. That eyeball is just eyeballing me as I'm eyeballing it. Right there. A little baby fawn. Took me a minute to figure out what this is, but it's 1,000 kilometers. We've come 1,000 kilometers. Yay! All right. It is May 24th. I've been on the trail for 54 days, or started this journey 54 days ago, because we've got some zeros in there. But we are now at an overlook. We are overlooking the little town of Parisburg. Parisburg? Spelled like pear, and then ris, R-I-S. Or... So anyhow, it's a long ways down. It's 2,000 feet to that valley down below. And uh, it's pretty cool. There's a little town down there. We're heading to a place called Hiker's Rest. Angel's Rest, Angel's Rest. Here's my view. This is the best view that I've had in, I would say, over a week. This is the best view that I've had. A little, way a nice little rock crop outcropping here. And uh, you can see the little town way down in between the trees and bushes down there. You can actually see there's a little town down there. That's where we're headed. It's about three miles away. A little overcast, a little breeze. Feels pretty good. The bugs are out, but it's more like caterpillars that are like dangling off of uh, like spider webs coming down and uh, they just get all over you. So that's kind of yucky. So I've been uh, wearing my head net. And that seems to work out pretty well. And I just dust them off every once in a while. And that's been working. So, you can see the breeze. It's pretty nice. All right, so, I haven't been filming much the last two days because I was almost out of space and haven't been able to download any uh, videos. So I got no more room. I had like 20 gigs on my phone full of space used up by these videos and haven't been able to dump them down. So, it's been kind of a frustrating. I'm holding the camera like this because it's just so rocky here. <laughs> this way I don't trip and fall. Um, um, so that's kind of a little issue today. I'm up on this ridge and the ridge allows me to use my 4G rather than Wi-Fi because the hostel that I stayed at last night was absolutely amazing. So wood hole, woods whole hostel is amazing gotta get to keep the caterpillars out of the way absolutely amazing um it's all vegetarian food that we had but i'm telling you i have never eaten better these last couple of hostels between a quarter way in and this place wow what a good community giving thanks in a circle for what we're thankful for for breakfast and for dinner last night just really great very well they ask for help you volunteer for different things little two-minute projects just makes the whole thing flow there was probably 20 some of us there last night and just never felt more welcome and uh, at peace so sometimes you need a rest but you also need to recharge your batteries emotionally when you're out here so that was just a real big charge for me to get real charged up along with everybody else and seeing people struggle to make it in and everybody go out there and greet them. It was just, wow. I'm telling you, I saw that place. I'm just like, my daughter needs to go spend some time here. Juliana, you would love this hostel. 
all the food and the vegetable garden growing right there in the front, overlooking the front porch. Got to get you down here sometime. Spend a week with this lady. She is amazing. She reminded me of our daughter, Juliana. Just uh, really did. She's busy as a bee working her butt off and uh, providing all of these people. And I just thought it was quite amazing. Oh, there you go. See, there's right on my wrist there. Little buggies all over the place. So, they're just little caterpillars. But, I think sometimes creep people out. You get used to it, I guess. One guy cleaned off six of them off his hat when we are at a shelter back there for a rest. But, all right, well, I freed up space and so now I can videotape again. We're back and rolling. I'll videotape and show you what I'm looking at here. The trail's better now so I can go a little faster. It's somewhat rocky. Um, patches are rocky, some patches are really nice. And some are really rocky. This is like barely rocky. But uh, the trail keeps mixing it up. We have a 2,000 foot drop here. And it's kind of been threatening to rain the last couple days. But I haven't even felt really a drop. Um, psychologically, the other night, um, when I just was sleeping underneath my tarp, just, just a tarp, it sounded like it was raining and it was just the maple trees dropping nectar or something. I don't know what it is, but they're dropping some droplets. Kind of like when you park your car on a street underneath the maple tree and you get all those little sticky spots. That was happening all night long. Big drops. If the winds blew a little bit, it sounded like a lot of drops. So it was raining. Raining that from a maple there. All right, I guess there's 0.2 to a spring, but we found just a trickle spring. And I mean a trickle like a weak straw amount of water I was able to get off of a rhododendron uh, leaf placed in there. It took a while, but it was good with clean water because it came right out of the ground, right next to the trail. It was perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this miles down here. Early day, only 11 mile day today, going into Parisburg. That'll put me at 635 or so. That's what it's going to put me at. So, uh, about 90 miles so far for the week since Monday. And it's Friday. So, oh, almost tripped there. Yeah. I always like it, those weird looking trees. <laughs> cool. Starting to lose some elevation here now. Oh, the breezes are cold, nice and cool coming through here. When you're down in the shadow, that is cool. Feels really good on the legs. <laughs> Bouncy, bouncy. So the rhododendrons have been, oh wow, this is really cool in here. Look at this, this little shelf in here. <laughs> Fun stuff for kids to explore. <laughs> Looks like the rotos are already gone here. They've already shed their beautiful blooms. Oh, there's some more pink stuff down a little lower there. You can see it down there. Yeah. More crazy trees. So the Wapiti Shelter, right there, at the bottom here. I was there yesterday, wasn't able to film there. But uh, that is where there was another murder on the Appalachian Trail exactly 10 years ago to the day when Ron Sanchez was murdered on the trail two weeks ago. Small world, huh? Well, I got another ride heading into town, Perrysburg over there, so get the hair all blown dry out there and a little sweat coming off of there, a little dry to make you look a little more personable, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> all right, I'm all cleaned up over there at the, from the Angel's Rest Hiker Haven. Now I'm on the Blue Blaze Trail here to the Duchess Trail. Let's back with the Duchess Trail. Going down the Food Lion. See if I can get some Gatorade, some more protein, powder if I can and a hammock. <laughs> <laughs>
because somehow I set my hammock on like hot two watts. All right. Back on the trail. That's a pretty trail. Look at that trail. <laughs> Thank you.